and welcome back to Richard Bozilich's Gitsrana at Tesuji. Today we got some more intermediate problems, starting with problem number 152. How does black kill the four white stones in the corner here? <laughs> Black's move is the descent here. Um, and if white goes here to poke out the eye, then black comes around from this side. Now white cannot take this last liberty without first connecting, which allows black to get the Atari. White cannot do this, obviously, because it's just Atari. Um, if black plays here, this leads to a ko, and the ko starts out with white connecting here. Now if black takes this outside liberty, then white will throw in and start a ko. And again, we want to avoid ko wherever possible. Moving on to problem number 153, black is looking to rescue his six stones right here. How does he do this? Black's move is first to push here, which pokes out white's eye shape. Uh, if white blocks, then black will do this move, it's just a throw in. And then from there, black will play this move. And even though white can capture it with a move like this, when black cuts it off right here, white can never take this last Atari. Uh, if white connects here and tries to push at it, it's in self Atari. Even if white connects all the way out to here, if he tries to take this last liberty, it's self Atari. So by doing all this throw-in business, black is okay because white can never take that last liberty. Problem number 155, black is looking to save his four stones right here, as well as capture these six of whites. How does he do this? Black's move is to descend here, and if white responds by descending himself, then black will start the capturing race by taking the outside liberty. If white continues the capturing race, then black will throw in. Atari and Atari and capture all the stones. If black tries to go after the stone immediately by Ataring it, white will set up a squeeze by cutting here, forcing black to capture, and then squeezing it until it's dead. From number 156, how does black capture the four white stones right here? Black's move is to set up a squeeze by playing here, and if white cuts, then black Ataris. When white captures, black will Atari here, and this leads to the squeeze, and white will die. If black starts by going here, then white can descend here, and it's a very similar problem to the one we just did. Um, just for continuation, black will go here, white will start the capturing race, black will take a liberty, white will throw in and kill black. Just like the last problem. Problem number 158. How does black or how can black capture these four white stones? Black's move is to wedge here, and when white Atari's the stone, black sets up a squeeze similar to before. Uh, except for this is a, a shortage of liberties right off the bat, and if white connects, black just captures. Black doesn't need to be fearful of this because he has two liberties for himself. Uh, when I was doing the problem, that's what kind of threw me because I figured once white captured this. These stones will be captured, and I forgot that there was two liberties here, so just be aware of that. Problem number 165, how does black save these two stones? Black's move is to play here, and this actually sets up a snapback uh, by throwing in here. When white captures, black captures back. So to prevent that, white will need to play here. But then when black plays here, uh, it prevents white from playing here because it would be self-Atari. So black wins. So that is it for another set of intermediate problems. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please like it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them below. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.